Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to share my Python code for uh, the example given in this lecture notes for a model predictive control by Professor Mark Cannon from U Oxford University. The example is solved on page number 15. Also the description and the formula are derived in the previous page that you can take a look. Uh, here in this video I'm just going to explain the MATLAB equivalent of uh, the implementation given in this website uh, from MathWork. Uh, I'm going to share the Python equivalent. My code, uh, both MATLAB and also Python files are shared on my GitHub page. Uh, but uh, if I sh uh, show you some parts of my code, you can see that in my code uh, I take advantage of control toolbox in Python. Indeed, uh, in some part of my code I need to compute LQR, also uh, discrete time Lyapunov equation, and finally, I need to be able to solve quadratic optimization problem, which I solve using uh, CVXPy. So CVXPy, I use it for quadratic optimization. For solving discrete time Lyapunov equation, I use a linear algebra package of SciPy toolbox, and also from control to box uh, I use it to compute LQR. In my code I have tried to uh, explain which part of my code refers to which formula in the lecture notes. For example, uh, this part refers to formula number 2.2 .2 on page number 16 and uh, so on. Another formula from the page number uh, 17, also uh, another formula 2.4. And uh, finally here is the main loop in which you, we need to be able to solve a series of quadratic programming. So, um, uh, remember for the first time you need to pip and install control toolbox for Python. Uh, and uh, if I run the code, what I get is this final plot, uh, which is exactly what you can see on page number 12 of this lecture note. Here it is. You can see that I'm getting the exact same uh, figures. Also, if I run my code, uh, my MATLAB code, uh, what I get is this. You can, you can see that, again, I'm getting the exact same uh, figures from the lecture notes. So, um, both codes, uh, both MATLAB and Python code are shared here. Also, in my previous videos, I have explained how to solve LQR, uh, discrete time Lyapunov equation and also quadratic programming without using any packages from control toolbox of MATLAB or CVXPy from Python. Even without using those packages, you will still be able to solve this um, uh, example from the lecture note. But the thing uh, is that here I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I wanted my code to be as uh, brief as possible so that you can see the whole picture. 
I mean how to combine three main components, solving LQR, discrete time diagonal of equations, and also, um, also quadratic programming in order to get the figures uh, which are shown on page number 15. These figures. Of course, these figures are a little bit different from what you uh, can see in this page from MathWork. Actually, for, um, for not choosing uh, in a better way, uh, the way the pictures are going to be depicted, uh, maybe uh, Maybe the author of this page uh, did not take enough time to try to get better pictures. For this reason, you might think that uh, this, these uh, figures are different from the ones uh, shown in this page, but they are more or less the same. Also, another thing is that the time horizon in this uh, page is 4 while uh, in the lecture note it is 16. For this reason you can see more difference between what is shown in this web page and what is shown in this page of the lecture notes. But uh, as you already witnessed my code, both MATLAB code and Python code uh, give the exact same solution and the exact same figures. I hope this video has been useful to you. See you next time.